Hello, my name is Benjamin Kepner of Global Social Media Marketing, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Facebook marketing training video on how to manage your billing of the Facebook ads that you might be running through a given ads account manager that is also linked to your business manager account and how you can kind of control that invoicing, where you can find those invoices, and also kind of build a threshold or a spending limit so that you're not being billed for small increments and you can kind of increase that. So um, I think the first thing um, that I'll start with in this video is that number one, you wanna kind of think about the money that you're spending on Facebook ads is almost like a credit card, right? You can charge things um, via uh, Facebook ads. You can use a debit or credit card. That's also a really good kind of growth hack, right? If you're using a credit card for a client um, and you're, you charge your credit card, right? Then that actually is kind of almost buying you a 60 day period where you're not gonna hopefully pay for those ads until the end of the month charge it on a credit card and you maybe not have to pay that credit card for 30 days. So that'd be my tip number one. Um, and then the next thing is just thinking about it, right? Thinking of Facebook ad spending as a credit card. So you build your, your limit, right? Everybody starts in a new Facebook ad account at a certain threshold on how much they're able to actually spend. And as time goes on, as you make those payments, just as like as you make a credit card payment, you get extended your limit. So you can actually have a larger threshold um, and, and be able to spend more money on Facebook without getting invoiced. So I'm gonna go ahead and show an example today for one of our clients, his name is Corey Reynolds. We're doing some really cool things with him around recruiting. And um, he's at a phase now where he's been with us for about a month. So he's not, um, you know, brand new client at this point. He has built some credit, he's paid some invoices, right? So now is probably a good time coming into a month, right? If he doesn't wanna be billed um, every few days to kind of increase that spending limit and that threshold so that he's gonna receive less invoices. And I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Um, so we're here on the homepage of Facebook. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the drop down, and then go into Business Manager. Please excuse my Facebook. I am connected to quite a bit of Facebook pages and Business Manager accounts. But for today's uh, training video, we're gonna be talking about our client, Corey Reynolds. And so what we're gonna do, right, this is the business manager uh, back end. This is the main dashboard. What we can do, right, is we can actually um, click on that little triangle at the top, as you can see, and then click on billing. Once we click into the billing section, I was gonna go ahead and load um, all of the invoices, as you can kind of see, um, and then obviously saying, you know, which payment method um, of the transaction that's being done. So what we want to do here, right, is we want to be able to um, change the amount of invoices, right? You can see he's being kind of built here for three days. So I'm going to just click on payment settings. Okay, and then we're actually gonna go show, um, you know, right here, right, you can see his payment method um, and the amount that he spent to date. And then right in here, right, is um, you'll also get a bill when you spend $400. Um, your next bill is coming on the 20th, right? So what we wanna do here is we wanna manage this and we wanna increase that threshold. So you can see right here, it says your billing threshold only changes how often you're billed not how much you spend. If you want fewer bills, you can raise your threshold. If you want to be billed for smaller amounts, you can you can lower your threshold. And I've actually also got this pulled up um, for anyone that wants to read into this further. If you ever have questions about Facebook ads or Facebook for Business, they do have a public um, you know website. I mean, I literally could have just gone to Google, right? And searched this for, um, you know, how to only be billed for Facebook ads once per month, right? Google is a super powerful platform that allows us to kind of answer that question. I just clicked on here, Facebook for Business. In Facebook for Business, they have all of the different rules and regulations around Facebook. So use that as a, a resource. That's why they've created the Business Help Center that's you know, publicly available. But as you can kind of see, right, um, how you're charged is based on auction system where ads compete, impressions based on bid and performance. Um, and then it says, when will you pay, right? You'll pay 
uh, for your ads, depending on um, how you pay for them, you'll create your first ad on Facebook, you got a payment method, and then that is determined by your payment settings, right? So normally automatic payments is gonna be okay. Um, sometimes I completely understand people wanna make manual payments, maybe they've got other bills or something going on in their, in their lives. Um, but ultimately what you need to kind of take away from this, right, um, is that you're only gonna be billed when you're kind of hitting that threshold, right? Um, and it's time for you to make that payment. So this is just kind of like an example of, you know, what the, the Facebook Business Help Center is saying. So what I might do here, right, is I might kind of see, maybe if I can even try to double this, um, if it allows me to have that spending limit. So let's just go ahead and see if I'll be able to double the spending limit. Okay, so it says, thanks. As you make successful payments, we'll continue raising your billing threshold until you reach $800. For now, you might still receive bills less than $800, right? So it's pretty much telling us saying, hey, you are building trust with Facebook by continuously making these incremental payments. And as you prove to us, we will try to increase that limit. So fortunately for Corey, he's making those payments on time. And um, you know what we'll wanna make sure that we do is um, you know, just try to, to steadily increase that so maybe he's only getting an invoice, right? So there's nothing we can do in the short term but actually change that threshold. Um, and we can actually also to um, set our account spending limit, right? That's actually saying like how much we're allowed to spend in ads. So right now you can see we've, we've spent a total of about $900. I might try to maybe put a limit on there. Maybe, um, for example, I know I'm gonna you know, be managing a client that's in a contract uh, for three to four months, I might kind of take whatever their uh, average monthly ad spend is and kind of set that as a limit. Or um, if I'm managing my own Facebook uh, page as a business owner, I might want to go ahead and just, you know, uh, kind of, I guess, forecast that out, right? So then I get that notification. This is also a great way to kind of prevent yourself from overspending. So again, account spending limit, if I'm doing like, for his example, right, I just tried to raise it to $800. Um, let's say he's in a, in a three month contract. Right, you do the math on that, right? That's maybe $2,500 roughly. So I'm gonna just go ahead and kind of put that um, as his account spending limit. And then you'll get a notification later on from Facebook if your ads are not running, they'll say, hey, you need to um, increase this limit or, or you know, change this limit. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that limit, right? And so now it's got that, you know, it's starting from fresh, I've got the threshold, and that's all of that information. If I ever have a client that comes to me and says that I need an invoice, this is something that I've seen with one of our other clients in Colorado where we're constantly being asked by their accounting or their HR department, hey, I need this invoice, I need this invoice. Um, the easiest thing, number one, is you will be automatically billed to your email um, because you have to set up um, accounts or email addresses that receive that invoice. And, and Facebook will actually directly email that invoice to you, right? So it'll say something like, if we go into my email, like Facebook ads receipt, um, where it actually gives you that, right? So you can kind of see an example um, right here of an email that I got, right? And um, the, the billing threshold of that and, and what the amount is. And it can actually show the campaigns and the transactions, and I can see the full receipt. So that's one option if anybody asks us for um, you know, an invoice that they need for accounting or finance purposes, we can actually just get that from our email. But let's say we didn't get the email or they're not receiving the email because maybe they're not tied to the Facebook ads account or the business manager account. We can just click on that button that says view receipts and it will actually come in here and list all of the receipts that we have. So just to kind of go back um, and see, right, we want to kind of show the Corey Reynolds account um, you will be able to see all of Corey's bills or transactions that have happened and you'll actually be able to either download all of those invoices and just send that to them or you could actually individually click on the transaction ID. Here it is and there's a feature right here that allows me to, to download that and now I've got a handy dandy um, PDF that I can say, okay client Corey Reynolds, did you need that invoice or that receipt? no problem i was able to get this here's your receipt um, i hope this is helpful so 
Um, I hope this makes sense for anybody that is managing uh, Facebook clients or somebody that might also be managing Facebook for their given account. Um, pretty much what you just need to understand is that the way that Facebook billing works is very similar to a credit card where you have a threshold of how much you can charge and that threshold can increase based upon your ability to make payments on time and uh, make the payments that you owe that are outstanding. And as you kind of make those payments as time goes on, you can increase that threshold in your spending limit. So it's just kind of like thinking about it as like getting a credit card and, and building credit for yourself. So I hope this has been helpful, guys. Please let us know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns in the comments below. Please give us a like on this video if you found it helpful, and please be sure to smash that subscribe button so you can get more social media tips from us at Global Social Media Marketing on how we can help your business grow with Facebook marketing. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video.